I am worried, as I have stated. <laughs> but I also am praying and hoping for the best. <laughs> You good? Good. Good, good, good? Hmm? Good. You know where you are? Yeah. You're at the hospital for an appointment? Five. Hmm? Six. Mm hmm What appointment? Eh? What appointment? Five. Newer surgery. Right? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Journey with Kelleen. Please remember to like, share, and also subscribe, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. On here, I talk about life as a special needs mom. Matthew, he has hydrocephalus. Actually, he was born with severe congenital hydrocephalus. He does not use his shunt. Instead, he did a etv surgery so there's no shunt inside of uh matthew you're checking it out <laughs> he's getting there normally will cry like crazy and try to get it off <laughs> Stay still, Pa. Here I just try to show what it is like, you know, what life is like, some of the challenges, some of the good times, just about everything that our day-to-day -day living is like. So therapies, all of that, I try to show here on my channel and to let other special needs mom out, th mom out there know that they are not alone so thank you guys for tuning in okay. <laughs> i hope you do enjoy my content and if you do please remember to press the like button and also subscribe for more okay guys i always like this window i always like when i come in this room yep this is the hospital we're still looking at but of course the parking garage what did you say my do you see any bus huh? i see cars car yeah cars mm -hmm. you want to come i went to his appointment today everything was okay until the doctor <laughs> as a special needs mom i normally get good and bad news basically almost every doctor's visit right today was no different however it felt the the, the feeling was the feeling was more than normal the the sadness and all that that i felt i'll tell you more about that in a minute yes. after he came in the first thing he pointed out was the fact that matthew matthew measurement for his head came off the curve so normally there is like there's like a graph and on that graph there will be like a curve that the child the measurement would be on right so Matthew he has hydrocephalus so is is bigger than a normal child so he's already off the chart however once it is steady growing then it is not a call for concern but when he showed me that chart today it actually spiked so it went all the way off course and went up meaning his head is getting bigger that is a real cause for concern however matthew is not showing any signs or symptoms no droopy eyes no vomiting no sign of like you know he's sick or feeling pain or anything like that so the doctor's recommendation is to do a mri and also Oh no, we're not going to do the x-ray because then I remember when he's, he thought he had a 
shunt in and I had to remind him that it wasn't a shunt so he's going to do an MRI sometime next month I'm supposed to schedule that appointment right I am concerned though and I'm a little worried I can't say I'm not I'm really worried I actually cried to tell you the truth I am concerned based on the fact that I have said Matthew he has no shunt right he did an ETV surgery and if that fails it means that they might have to put in a shunt and shunt in shunt is just not reliable you know there are so many surgeries sometimes that you have to do because the shunt fail or the child you know you grow and then you gotta extend that tube but the chances of the shunt failing is so high so for me i really don't want that to be an option for matthew the doctor did try to encourage me and said hopefully you know it's just normal growth for him however as a parent seeing that chart as i said it's a real cause for concern because he just went totally off course like up anyhow he's up the doctor is saying though that they might be able to go in with the etv type surgery they might be able to go in and open back the tube in case it's blocked if they can't do that that's when they'll have to do a shunt right i am worried as i have stated <laughs> but I also am praying and hoping for the best that it's just it's just normal growth right because really and truly doing a surgery right now I would not want him to do a surgery and I just don't want to like go through that it's it's already hard and it's so much you know it is so much on these kids um yes so that is how my session went today this was not the video i was hoping to do and also this was not the news of course i was hoping to hear from his um checkup anyhow guys thank you for tuning in and i'll also keep you posted bye